Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a radical system. We have a times the square root of a plus b times the square root of b equals 189 and a times the square root of b plus b times the square root of a equals 180. And we're going to be looking for a and b values. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, obviously I'm going to be using substitution. Let's go ahead and get rid of the radicals first by calling square root of a x and square root of b y. And this implies, of course, a needs to be positive and b needs to be positive in this case. So from here we get a equals x squared and b equals y squared. All right. So we want x and y to be positive. And let's go ahead and see what we can get from here. So if you replace a with x squared and square root of a with x, from the first equation you're going to get x cubed plus y cubed equals 189. And from the second equation you're going to get x squared y plus y squared x equals 180. Now. Here's what we're going to do for our first method. We are going to factor the top equation and the bottom one. So this one gives us, if uh, you factor using sum of two cubes formula, x plus y multiply by x squared minus xy plus y squared. That is equal to 189. And the second one, you just take out a common factor, which is xy, and inside the parentheses you get x plus y and that is equal to 180. Great. Now there's a lot of things you can do from this, but I will divide equations side by side. So let's go ahead and take the top equation and divide by the bottom one. Now notice that if x or y is 0, that in implies that a or b is 0, this system is not going to work. So we can safely say that they're different from 0. So we can safely cancel these out. x plus y cancels out as long as it's not 0. And this is equal to 189 over 180. Notice that both of these numbers are divisible by 9. So we can go ahead and simplify that too. If we divide by 9, both the numerator and the denominator, we get 21 over 20. Awesome. So this gives us a nicer equation. Let's go ahead and cross multiply and uh, we'll get a quadratic equation from here in two variables. All right. So this is what it's going to look like. 20x squared minus 20xy plus 20y squared equals 21xy. If you bring the 21xy over to the left and subtract it, that's going to give us negative 41xy in the middle, and everything else is going to be the same. And on the right-hand side, we're going to get a 0. So this is kind of nice because we got a homogeneous equation, just like with differential equations. You know, when you get something homogeneous, it's good because a solution is going to be easier. So to show you kind of why this is homogeneous, I'm going to do the following. You don't have to do it. Uh, you can directly go with the solution, but I just want to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and having said that y does not equal 0, I'm going to divide everything by y squared. So it's going to look like this. Divide by y squared, everything. 20x squared over y squared. When I divide xy by y squared, y is going to cancel out. You're going to get x over y, which is nice, and this is going to give us a constant, and then the right-hand side, nothing is going to change because 0 divided by a non-zero number is always 0. Great, so we kind of got a quadratic, hopefully you notice. If you go ahead and call something like x over y, let's call this u, right? And this is going to give us 20u squared minus 41u plus 20 equals 0. That's definitely a quadratic equation in U, and we can solve it in many ways. Uh, factoring is probably the fastest here since it's factorable, but you can also use the quadratic formula, so on and so forth. But anyways, um, 
we can just factor this as 4u minus 5 times 5u minus 4. This is kind of trial and error. There's also an x method. Maybe we can talk about that later in another video. This is, these are the factors. And from here, we get u equals 5 over 4 and u equals 4 over 5. So we get two values for u. They're both um, real. And u is x over y. So let's go ahead and back substitute that. And this gives us a ratio of x to y which is good because from here we can use properties of uh, ratios and proportions and for each case, uh, let's go with the first case first, uh, we can kind of write like x as 5k and y as 4k and then from here we can kind of substitute this into the original equation. Well, not necessarily the original one but the one we got by uh, you know, uh, replacing uh, square root of a and square root of b with something. So we can use this equation, x cubed plus y cubed equals 189. And if you go ahead and use that, let's go ahead and substitute these. I'm going to cube x, so it's going to give me 125k cubed. I'm going to cube y, that's going to give me 64k cubed. And this is supposed to equal 189, but this is 189k cubed equals 189, which means k equals 1, because k cubed equals 1. Awesome. And k equals 1 means that x is 5 and y is 4. But remember, we're not looking for x and y, we're looking for a and b. So we got to go ahead and substitute those into our equations. But remember, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to y squared. So we just got to square these values to find a and b respectively. So a equals 25 from here and b equals 16. That's going to be our first set of solutions. We can also write this as, you know, a, B as a set is equal to 25, 16. This kind of allows you to switch them around because you can definitely switch them around. And you're going to see that in a little bit. I'll actually maybe, uh, I should, okay, I should take my time with this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second one. But let me just tell you, uh, I hope you don't mind, if you just do something similar with the second equation or second set of solutions, you're going to get A equals 16 and B equals 25. They're just going to switch around. Therefore, we can just write the solution set as a set and so we don't have to worry about the order because in this case they're interchangeable. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So hopefully the first method made sense. We just used substitution and we used factoring with sum of two cubes and common factor and then we just divided the equation. So dividing is critical because we want to reduce the power uh, to a quadratic and then since this is homogeneous we can just uh, use a different variable to solve for it. Great, our second method is very similar to the first one, but let us let me uh, write the two equations that we got uh, with the first method. This is the first one, and the second equation, uh, you know, in the factored form can be written like this. Now, I'm not going to divide this time, I'm going to do something di different. And notice that x cubed plus y cubed can also be written as... Um, you know, something cubed, like using the binomials theorem. So if you think about x plus y quantity cubed, that is equal to x cubed plus y cubed. This, you know, this is one of my favorite ways to write it because it kind of puts together some um, nice uh, terms together. Anyways, um, so this is a well-known identity. It should be. We know that this is equal to 189 and this is equal to 180. Now, if you go to multiply 180 by 3, you get 540 and 189 plus 540 is 729. That's easy, right? Arithmetic. And you know that, hopefully you do, uh, 9 cubed is 729. So from here we get x plus y equals 9. And that is the only solution we get, but guess what? We have another pair that we need to check this against. So from here, um, x, y, since x, y times x plus y is equal to 180, remember that was a multiple of 9. From here, if x plus y is 9, then x, y is equal to 20. So we kind of get a system of equations, and that kind of turns into a quadratic. But think about it. Two numbers whose sum is 9 and whose product is 20. Those numbers and are 5 and 4, or 4 and 5, right? So we can safely say the same thing as before. And this basically gives us the same solution for a, b, which is 16 and 25. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.